Uh, good evening. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the special meeting of the Cape Elizabeth Town Council. It is Monday, April 25th, 2011. Uh, would the clerk please take the roll call? Council Chair Sherman? Here. Council Gouvenali? Here. Council Jordan? Here. Council Lennon? Here. Council Sullivan? Here. Councilor Swift Kayada? Here. And Councilor Walsh? Here. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, town Council reports and correspondence. Jessica. Yes, I'd like to encourage uh, residents of the town to consider um, working with the Thomas Memorial Library Board of Trustees. We have a space and we need an applicant. So applicant applications are being taken and I hope we'll hear from you. Jessica, is there a deadline for applications? Yes. Deb, what is it's May? Yeah, Friday, May 13th. Fr Friday, May 13th. Right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Any other reports or correspondence? This is uh, then the first opportunity on tonight's agenda for citizens to discuss items that are not on the agenda tonight. So if anybody would like to speak to an issue not on the agenda, please come forward to the podium. Okay. <laughs> Seeing none. Uh, town manager's report. I'll pass. Thank you. All right. All right thank you. Uh, uh, tonight is a public hearing on the fiscal year 2012 budget. Uh, uh, so if anybody would like to speak on the budget as has been proposed in our materials tonight, please come forward to the podium, uh, identify yourself by name and your address, and uh, please limit your comments to three minutes. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> David, thank you. Uh, it's Tom Dunham, 11 Becky's Cove Lane, Kip Lisbon. I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak briefly to the councillors this evening. Over the course of the past 45 days, I have experienced a respectful dialogue with the Public Works Director and the Town Manager regarding the proposed purchase of a replacement grader. The basis for my inquiry was to determine if the replacement of this capital item truly was necessary given the average annual hours of use of 65 hours and the proposed cost of $140,000. Was this item thoroughly vetted to include subcontracting out <clears throat> to private firms, and what were the assumptions? As many of you are aware, <clears throat> I personally met with five large equipment dealers for new and used road equipment machinery, <clears throat> and received insightful operational information from four large earth contractors that are fully qualified <clears throat> to bid on the summer and winter greater functions. None of the companies I spoke to could justify this $140,000 expense, given the annual hours of use and the alternatives in the marketplace. In summary, the decision to purchase the greater replacement warrants much further scrutiny. It is my suggestion that the council should hire an experienced outside consultant, well-versed in municipal public work functions, to include staffing, time management, purchase, and utilization of equipment. <clears throat> this process may well validate the current operation or may offer constructive recommendations to enhance operations and in turn provide <clears throat> the higher return on tax dollars spent. It is my suggestion that this item be tabled until further in-depth study. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tom. Would anybody else like to speak? Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Councillors. My name is Dave Griffin. I live at uh, Chairman of Your Road, Cape Elizabeth. I originally planned to come forward tonight to discuss one of the inefficiencies in my mind in the budget. But as this day unfolded, I realized as a taxpayer <coughs> that the budget has already been at the point where it needs to be approved. As the system has been set up in Cape, budgets are first reviewed by the Council's Finance Committee. When completed, they present their findings to the entire Council, at which point the 
council schedules a hearing. Too late, the decision is already made. When only two weeks remaining before the school budget is brought to the council, May 10th is here. The election and voter approval or disapproval of the school budget entails. So here we are at a hearing to nowhere. Keep in mind that the taxpayers are here and not going away. They are energized. When our properties have lost value, our taxes are going up. We have public facilities overbuilt. Municipal employees, including the town manager, receiving salaries and benefit increases 13 of the last 15 years. School budget increases, creating need for more taxes, cost increasing, expenditures of 140,000 for a piece of equipment that will be used only 65 hours per year, and on and on. As counselors, we taxpayers challenge you to represent us fiduciarily in the future. Thank you. Thank you, David. Would anybody else like to speak? Okay, I will now close the public hearing. Um, we have uh, a number of uh, proposed budgets laid out in the materials, and uh, I, I would turn to the finance chair to, to make our first motion, and then we could have discussion. Thank you. Uh, item 72-2011, I move we adopt the uh, municipal portion of the budget for the fiscal year 2012 as set forth in our packets for a total of $8,009,119,970. Second. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Jim. Um, yeah, I wonder if the manager could outline the process. Um, you know, I, when I look at the number of hours that uh, we've spent um, reviewing the detail since this was uh, conceived, and I just think it's important to, to, to make it a matter of record that there has been quite a bit of deliberation over the budget, and there have been interested parties, citizens participating in the process, but in a very limited way. Um, so I, I just wondered if the manager might be able to reiterate how many meetings we've had and uh, what, what his thoughts are on the process, because I believe it's been as open and as straightforward as one can have in a municipality and one that I think needs to be on record. Mike, would you? Go ahead. Yes, I'd be uh, happy to, David. Uh, the, really, the budget process begins almost as soon as one's adopted. Uh, in fact, I, I recall this one actually began in early July of uh, 2010. Uh, eventually, we go through a process of having overall goals. Uh, the council discusses the budget as part of their goals process in December and in early January. Uh, there's certain guidelines, there's a direction set, we look at salary increases or, or no, no increases as we looked at last year. Uh, and the big picture is really set forth uh, in, in February. Uh, in early March, uh, the big picture is, is, is then filtered down to individual budgets. Uh, the department heads submit budgets to the town manager and then I recommended a budget to the town council. In this case, it was on, uh, approximately on February 3rd of, of the, excuse me, March 3rd of this year. Uh, meanwhile, the school board is also going through a similar process. Uh, the, the different uh, principals and others who have budgetary responsibility make recommendations to the superintendent. The superintendent recommends a budget, goes to the school board, and then the school board recommends a budget to the council uh, right around the 1st of April. Uh, as, as, while the school board is reviewing the school budget, the municipal budget reviews are ongoing, and the, there were a couple, there were at least two different evenings uh, initially where you reviewed the, the individual lines, uh, the individual departments in the budget, 
Uh, you also had a meeting with the school department on April 6th. Uh, at all of those meetings, there was opportunity for public comment. Uh, you specifically invited public comment at your meeting on April 11th. Uh, you asked for it to be on the agenda. Uh, and uh, then this is the meeting this evening. The public hearings are also advertised. And, uh, you know, the, the, public, the budget information is widely distributed on the web and elsewhere. And just echoing Mike's summary, uh, we do recognize in response to uh, Mr. Griffin's comment that it's not a perfect process to have the public hearing at this stage in the game with the uh, school budget validation vote only two weeks away. For that reason, we did invite uh, and made a special point to invite the public to, to provide commentary two weeks ago at our regular meeting as well as at all the various workshops. Um, but we do recognize the issue that you've raised tonight. Are there any other questions or comments? Uh, Caitlin. Yep. Um, I had a question as to how procedurally we would move forward if the council was to table the road grader idea, as Mr. Dunham suggested, while still providing public works with a proper operating budget, if that was to happen. Uh, my understanding of that would be uh, you could offer an amendment uh, to the motion that's been made to remove the grader from the budget. Uh, and then if that amendment were to carry, we would approve the budget without the grader. Uh, but Mike, is there any, is there yeah. another option? The, the grader is actually in the 715 account capital projects, part of uh, the $566,000 for all uh, capital projects. I, I don't know if it's possible, uh, Caitlin, to sort of reserve <laughs> judgment on that Either we have it as part of the budget or we don't, because that affects the, the, the tax rate, et cetera. Well, that's what I was wondering if, I mean, if it is as simple as, you know, tabling it, which it appears not, because then there has to be an, the alternatives that are suggested that would be used for the greater. How would you budget those things and incorporate them into the budget? Uh, Frank? I'd just like to respond to that, because Caitlin, did, I did look at the analysis that was done um, by Mr. Dunn and his group um, indicating by their analysis that the greater would have been better to rent than to buy, basically. And I found, I personally found a, um, I have a difference of opinion in terms of how the calculations are done because it did not include any inflation for rental rates in the future. Mm -hmm. And if you just include a simple 3% increase per year for rental rates, it is clearly a better option for us, purely from a financial standpoint, purely financial, not anything operational to, to purchase now versus buy. But there are also alternatives as to not even needing the grader altogether. I mean, Route 77 is what the, the main use of the road grader in the winter months anyhow, and Scarborough and South Portland both seem to operate the other ends of Route 77 on either side of us with very little, you know, problems with the road, and they don't have a road grader. They use I imagine the dump truck with the plow and, and wings. And so I just, you know, as yes, long term, it does seem like leasing or greater, you know, is not as good an option as buying one. But my proposal, my, my suggestion is that we might not even need a road grader that it seems obsolete from over the course of the last several weeks, I've become more educated on the use of a road grader and that it seems like when we purchase the road grader that the town currently uses, which was well before I was even born, it was very necessary to have a road grader because chemicals weren't needed, chemicals weren't used to break up the ice as they are nowadays. And so it just seems as though perhaps purchasing a new road grader seems like not the best investment for the town if we could do it in other ways. That's so, all I'm suggesting. And um, I would just add that I, I also have, have looked at this issue, and I agree with Frank's analysis that I think the, the lack of inflationary um, measures or, or uh, consideration in, in the analysis is a flaw. And um, it isn't truly, in my opinion, a matter of having a greater or not having a greater. It's having a greater or having something else or depending on some other situation. I would remain very concerned about relying on the rental market especially having no idea, you know, what will happen over the next couple of decades. We're talking about 
the, a useful life of this piece of used equipment in, in decades, not in the short